In this video we are going to paint over some wallpaper using a couple of different products. The first product is Zinzer 123 and the second product is Zinzer Wallpaper Cover Up. Zinzer Wallpaper Cover Up has been specifically designed for this purpose and is the preferred product. It is also cheaper than the Zinzer 123. If the wallpaper is in a kitchen like in this first example you are going to have to clean it first. In this video I used sugar soap and water. If you do use sugar soap you must ensure that you clean off any residue of the sugar soap as this can interfere with the adhesion of the paint later on. We now need to inspect the wallpaper and look for any bits that are not stuck down properly. If you find any it's a good idea to stick them back using some border adhesive. It's a good idea to cork any gaps using decorator's cork before we go any further. If any of the wallpaper is mouldy it's going to need treating using a suitable anti-mould solution. It's critical that the Zinder 123 is mixed thoroughly. One of the easiest ways to do this is with a drill and a mixer paddle. Once it has been mixed thoroughly I'm transferring some into the Worcester Pelican which is great when you need to use a brush and a small roller at the same time. Once the wallpaper is completely dry you can then proceed with the primer. I'm starting off by cutting in at the edges using the brush before applying the Zinzer 123 using a 4 inch roller. Obviously for larger jobs you can use a larger roller but this kitchen is only small and so a 4 inch roller is adequate. Ensure the primer is rolled out and ensure you get good coverage with no runs. The beauty of the Zinder 123 is that it is quick to dry and can normally be painted over in a couple of hours. I'm now going to speed things up a little to make the video as short as possible. Now the primer has dried I'm applying two top coats of Zinzer Perma White. This is an ideal paint for use in kitchens and bathrooms as it is mould and mildew resistant. Again I'm using the brush to cut in at the edges then the 4 inch roller to roll out the brush marks. In this second property my mate Paul is painting over some vinyl wallpaper and some blown vinyl. This property has been renovated a good 12 months after the kitchen in the first example. This time we are using Zinzer wallpaper cover up. This is a superb product for painting over wallpaper as it covers really well and ensures that the paper does not bubble when being painted. 
Wallpaper cover-up was used in at least three rooms in this property and the results were fantastic. I'm now going to speed the video up in places to keep the video as short as possible. You need to ensure that the wallpaper is clean and dry and that nothing can interfere with adhesion. If any wallpaper is loose it's a good idea to fix it down as shown earlier in this video. You can apply the Zinda cover-up using a short pile roller or a brush. Obviously you can use a larger roller than the one in this video as it will speed up the job considerably. The wallpaper cover-up can be painted over after about 8 hours but it's best to leave it till the next day if possible. Now the cover-up has dried and it's time to apply the top coat of paint. In this video we're using a magnolia emulsion which is being cut in at the edges using a brush and then applied using a roller and extension pole. After the emulsion is dry, another coat will be applied to guarantee even coverage. So in this video I gave you two examples of how you can paint over wallpaper. It is important to use the correct primer because if you don't prime it correctly you can make a lot of work for yourself. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have and you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel.